in the Kuban region of the USSR on the shore of the Azov Sea, 40 kilometers from the city of Yeisk, there is a small fishing village located around a group of grain elevators. It is called Pereprava. My husband, Dmitry Fyodorovich Virbitsky, while living in Mankovka, was the director of the Mankova Kalitvinsk Technical School, located not far from the railway station. Someone had informed the authorities during a card game where tongues tend to wag that he allegedly said that Kremlin has become inhabited by little long noses. This was symbolic of certain little insects that live in the Kuban region and exist by eating the kernel of wheat grain. In addition, he was accused of allowing the children of clergy and of the gulags to enroll into the school without permission from the authorities. Moreover, he was put under house arrest until further notice. Since there were no guards assigned to watch my husband, he took advantage of this situation by jumping out of the window and escaping. When word spread, my husband had fled. The village council took me and my children, one of whom was only two months old, to the railway station and bought us tickets to Mariupol, where my widowed father was living. <laughs> 